Hello everybody, Kelly Atchison at stampabove.com coming to you from Menasha, Wisconsin on my Facebook Live, not live. This is pre-recorded tonight on July 7th, which is my birthday. Am I mirrored? I think you need to see that the right way. Hang on, let me do some mirroring here. There we go. Happy birthday to me. Yay, it's my birthday. Today I'm 54 years old. Yay. I know um, I don't have a hang up about age. You are as old as you feel or as old as you act or sometimes as immature as you act. Whatever. <laughs> but what I can tell you is that I am happy to be alive and I think that I live each day to the fullest. At least I try to. <laughs> All right, you guys. Um, being that this is a pre-recorded Facebook Live, it's a little weird for me because I'm not going to have your help tonight, right? Like when I ask you, oh my gosh, what is that called? I'm not going to have anybody telling me. Uh, but um, there's just a few things that I want to share with you before we get into the cards that I'm going to show you tonight. First of all, um, some of you may not have heard this. I think most of you know that Stampin' Up! has changed manufacturers for their die cutting machine, which we don't have yet, but we're getting a new one. And um, the manufacturer of our dies and our embossing folders. And so the embossing folders that carried over from the Occasions Mini Catalog and the old annual catalog into the new annual catalog were not available because they're being remanufactured. And I'm happy to report to you that we do have several of them that are available. The basket weave embossing folder is available. The lace embossing folder. The wreath embossing folder. The subtles embossing folder. The tin tile embossing folder. And the floral, I don't know what this is called. Floral romance, maybe, I don't know. The floral embossing folder, I think that's what it's called, is available. So they cranked those out so those are now orderable again. All of the other embossing folders that are in the new catalog that are new to this catalog have always been available, but these carryover ones have been uh, unavailable. So I just wanted to let you know about that. And then I'm gonna do things just a little bit different tonight. I am going to get right into the cards and then at the end, I am going to show you all the cards that I got in the mail because I have a pile of birthday cards and thank you cards that are like, Mah! so I wanted to save that until the end tonight. I do want to remind you that we still have bonus days going on for the entire month of July. Bonus days are when you place a $50 or more order for every $50 you order, you're going to get a $5 coupon in an email from Stampin' Up! and it's going to be a coupon code so you want to make sure you save that. That's going to be um, available for you to use in the month of August. So if you order $150 worth, you're going to get $15 worth of coupon codes and you're going to enter those on your order in August. So yay! We love bonus days! And then the other thing that's going on that I'm super excited about, extra, extra! Our starter kit has a big promotion right now. For $99, you can be a discount shopper or a business builder. You get to order $155 of anything you want in the catalog for only $99 plus tax. There's no shipping on this. So that's if you were to order um, $155, that would cost you $15.50 in shipping. And this is all free for you. So that's really exciting. Um, Discount Shopper, after you place your order for your kit, you get a 20% discount on all your future orders. And I do have on the in the right-hand column of my blog, if you scroll down until you see $99 kits in that column, there are all the details in there. There's even a video to show you how to order your kit. The only thing that's not included in the kit are exclusive host sets. And those are, I think they start on page 204, 205. Those are not included when you order your starter kit, but everything else is. And this is the best deal of the year. You can't go wrong with it. Um, if you want to order in the future at a discount, that's great. Take advantage of that. But if you just want to order your $155 worth, that's okay too. 
being part of my team has a whole bunch of benefits and perks. And I think you guys have seen my team members on the Facebook Live popping in, like even from last week, saying, oh my gosh, it's so much fun to be on Kelly's team. And it really is. I do provide a lot for my discount shoppers and my business builders. I do not discriminate here. No judging. <laughs> okay, so that's our other promotion. Oh, this promotion goes for July and August. So this is a two-month promotion. Plus, I almost forgot, when you do order the Discount Shopper Kit, you will get a $10 coupon to spend in the next month. So if you order it this month, you'll have a $10 coupon to spend in August. And if you order it in August, you'll have a $10 coupon to spend in September. And one of the really cool things about being a discount shopper on my team, or with Stampin' Up, I should say, is that you get to pre-order out of the new catalogs. And we have a brand new catalog coming out September 1st. It is our holiday mini catalog. You get to start ordering from it at the beginning of August. I think it's August 1st or August 4th. I don't remember the exact date, but it's pretty cool to be able to pre-order stuff. So that's another great benefit of being a discount shopper. If you have any questions about that, please don't hesitate to ask me. I am available. Um, I do have to say, though, uh, as you're watching this video on Sunday night, I am on the Stampin' Up! Incentive trip to Greece. So I will have, I did purchase an internet package on the ship, but it's not, the internet on ships isn't good, <laughs> which is a little frustrating because I don't have a lot of patience for that spinny wheel. You know, I call it the pinwheel of death, and that happens a lot when you have poor internet service. So if you have any questions, you can ask me. I will answer you as my time is available, but I'm really going to enjoy this, um, this trip. And landing in Rome, I kept saying that we were landing in Barcelona, but we're not. I don't even know where we're going. And you guys can laugh at me because that's just how I am. It's like, I don't know. I'm getting on a plane. They're taking me someplace. I'm going to have a good time. I don't care. But um, we are actually landing in Rome, and I'm landing in Rome on my birthday. So woohoo! When you guys are watching this, I will just have gotten into Rome sometime that day, and our ship will have set sail. So watch for pictures on Facebook. I love to share pictures with you guys. You are the reason why I'm going to be in Rome, and I it's one way that I can share with you and show you my appreciation because all your orders, all your likes, don't forget to click that like button on YouTube. Um, all of those things help me achieve these great incentive trips. And if you're curious about that, um, as a Stampin' Up! demonstrator, I have earned a all expense paid for two trip to the Greek Isles. We're cruising through the Greek Isles. And back when I earned my first one, I don't even remember what year it was, but we went to Panama. Um, I never in a million years thought that wasn't even on my radar. I just wanted to stamp and I wanted to share my love of stamping with others. So it's crazy how things work out, right? I've been on every incentive trip since and I think that was in 2006 I started going. So it's fun to be able to travel around the world and it's even better when somebody else pays for it. Thank you, Stamp It Up. Okay, um, I, let's see. Um, my friend Barb is going to be helping me out while I'm gone. So if you're on my Facebook VIP page, she's going to be answering questions um, if she can while I'm gone. I'll also be popping in there as time allows, but I am not going to be a slave to my computer while I'm gone. So if you need a catalog, if you're brand new to me and you'd like a catalog, please feel free to email me at kelly at a stamp above.com. But just know that I probably won't get back to you until like next Tuesday. Like, not this coming Tuesday. Um, probably not until the 16th because all of that is going to have to be taken care of when I get home. If you've already requested a catalog for me, know that it's gone out in the mail. Woohoo! Okay, um, funny thing, it is uh, Saturday morning here. I actually got up at 7 o'clock. Oh my God. I know, right? And um, I'm doing my Facebook Live pre recorded. I haven't even started packing yet. And I leave at 11, 11 15 to go to the airport. <laughs> Whatever, right? Okay, let's start here. I'm going to jump right into the card. Um, I've got a super, super cute 
I've got two cards to share with you today. They're both moving cards, which are kind of like fun folds. Um, but they move, so that's even more exciting, right? I'm going to get everything unpacked here. Oh, I see I need to plug in my phone, too. See, I need you guys on the other end live going, Kelly, did you plug your phone in? Kelly, don't forget this. Or, Kelly, the name of that folder is. Yeah, I need you guys to help me. Okay, um, plug in the phone. Then I'm going to unmirror my screen. And I'm going to take the bright light off. See, it's kind of dark in here today. I'm going to flip my phone around now. So if you get motion sickness, please close your eyes. And I'll tell you when you can open up again. And let me just make sure I got everything ready here. Oops, that's the wrong way. Yeah, do you like the close-up of my happy birthday crown? I have had this for years. And I have to tell you, it's kind of funny. But every year on my birthday, I wear my happy birthday crown all day long, no matter where I go. Here, let's put that light back on. I, I wear my happy birthday crown. I go to the post office, go to the grocery store, I go to the gas station. I don't care where I go, my happy birthday crown is on. And when I land, well, when um, it strikes midnight and I wake up on that plane tonight, I will put my crown on and it'll be on for all of tomorrow. And there's people that look at you like, hmm. And I'm sitting there thinking, really, can you read? that it says happy birthday. And then there's other people that say, is it your birthday? And I kind of think, I must look like a lunatic. <laughs> I don't care. And I say, well, yes it is. And then they say happy birthday and I say thank you. So <laughs> it's always fun. Okay, um, the other thing I'm gonna have to do, you guys, is close the door. I just heard Steve come in the house and he gets annoyed when I'm in here making videos and I don't close my door because I'm kind of loud. And I have to be loud when I flip my phone around because it doesn't have the good sound, right? I don't know what the problem is there. Hang tight. Okay, I think we're good. And then I have to tell you guys, I am down 37 pounds on my Optavia program. Woohoo! So, um, yeah. I'm pretty excited about that, but I am getting ready to go on a cruise, so I don't have any false illusions about eating too much food, <laughs> because that's what we do on cruises. Oh, and I have to tell you, too, that I just rolled out of bed like this, threw my hair up in a clip, and this is what you get today. <laughs> I'm still planning on going for my bike ride walk into the nature preserve, where I do that every day, or try to, and I'm hoping I can still do that today. So we'll see how long this takes me to show you these cards and see if we can get that accomplished. All right, flipping around now, I'm gonna turn off that light because we don't need it when we flip. And then, here we go. Let's see if I can do this without disconnecting us because I do not have time to start over. All right, do we look straight? I think we do. Okay, you guys, you can open up your eyes. We are ready to roll here. So, I'm gonna be using this cute little stamp set. Wheel Walrus Be Friends. Is that not the cutest thing ever? I love this one. And then, there is a, it's your birthday in here, but I needed an inside greeting, so I pulled my perennial birthday. I love this um, font on here, and I love how big it is. So we're gonna be using that on the inside of our card. Now, I said that we were going to be doing a moving card. Moving cards can be a little more challenging. Uh, where's my stamp set? Right here. Oh, let me get this cord out of your face, right? They're like, Kelly, get the cord out of my face. What are you doing? Um, bring in my piercing mat here. And I have one thing I have to do because I am in such a clustery hurry this morning. Here's my brother's birthday card. Yeah, my brother Jeff, I don't know how old he's turning, 60, 60, I think 61. I have five siblings from um, my dad's uh, was married before he married my mom. And so I have five, well, there's only four left now, but four older siblings, and Jeff is one of my favorite brothers. I have two brothers. Okay, so here's my happy birthday to Jeff. I just needed to stamp that because there was no inside in this card. Shame, shame, right? Okay, I gotta put that, I'm throwing that right in the middle of the floor. Do you guys do that? I put stuff right in the middle of the floor by my door so I have to walk over it so I don't forget it. My brother's birthday is July 11th, so I need to get that puppy out in the mail before I leave. Okay, um, cardstock, here we go. 
we are making a slider card. A pull slider card. I don't know what it's called. Uh, no, you know what? I need to figure out what it's called. Hang on. And I don't have it anymore. It'll be on my blog. You can always find all the information for the cards that I'm making on my blog. And it, you're watching this on YouTube. Right underneath the video on YouTube is a little start of a description. Then it says see more or something like that. If you click on see more, oh, all my links come up. There's a link directly to this blog post for these cards that I'm making tonight. As always, you guys will always find that on my YouTube videos. So um, if you want the details for that, make sure you're looking for it. I don't know what this is for. Oh yeah, this is my card base. <laughs> oh my Lord. Until I'm a little bit preoccupied. Okay, first thing we're gonna do here, you'll find all the dimensions on my blog. First thing we're gonna do here, we're gonna take our card base. This is five and a quarter by 11, and I use our Whisper White Thick cardstock. I am just going to take this and wipe it with the wax paper. Now this just helps my stylus slide nicer on our Simply Scored board. And I always have people ask me, by putting wax on there, does that um, mess up anything when you're stamping ink on it? No, it doesn't do anything bad to it. It just helps this work better. And when I'm working with cardstock, I always use the smaller end. When I'm working with designer series paper, the bigger end because you don't want to tear your paper. We're going to score at two and a half, six and a half, and then ten and a half. But here's the thing. I need this to be just a teeny weeny weeny bigger than ten and a half. So I'm just going to pull my paper so it's just barely up touching the side here and then score at ten and a half. And I'll show you why in just a minute. Okay, so we have that done. And I always just keep my wax paper with my Simply Scored. Set that back over there. Where did my bone folder go? Here's one. Okay, so we're just going to fold on all the lines here. I can't hardly wait to show you all the cards that I got. Oh my gosh, they're so pretty and there's such sweet notes in them. All right, so here's what we have, okay? We got this little tab here. We have this bigger tab here. What you're gonna do, slider cards are not a new thing. They've been around for quite a while, but what I found is an easier way to make them. There used to be a lot of measuring and all kinds of nonsense, and you can know that I'm not about the nonsense. I'm about making this super duper easy for you. So I'm just cutting a couple little slits. They're about a quarter of an inch long. And I'm gonna cut this tab out. Now if you have a square punch, you can put that in there and punch it. I don't have any square punches. So I'm just using my scissors. And again, you're just gonna kinda eyeball it. We're cutting a channel in here is what we're doing. Okay, so there we go. Yay, we did it. Now, next thing we're gonna do is I took a two gallon Ziploc bag. Now I have to tell you, I did a lot of different things here. Um, at first I took like, let me find it. It's right here in my garbage. I took a grocery bag. This is a Festival Foods grocery bag and I cut a one inch slit off of it. And I thought, oh, that'll work good. But when I was testing out my slider card, this got a little caught in there and this bag is not strong so it pulled it and it stretched it out. So this is not a good option. The, um, the video that I found actually used plastic bags like this but I don't recommend it. So I'm glad that I really messed around with this to make sure I was doing the right thing. Um, I don't want to mislead you guys. <laughs> I don't want you to go, Kelly, liar, liar, pants on fire. Okay, so I'm just going to take this bag and I'm going to fold it up here. And the only reason I'm folding it is so that I can cut it. I need a one inch strip. So we're going to do about a one inch strip. It's just easier to not cut that whole long thing and cut this little short thing, right? So here's our one inch strip. And it doesn't have to be perfect, you guys. So don't get all bent out of shape. That Don't overthink things here. All right, now the next tip that I have is you want these seams to be gone. They get kind of stuck and it's not fun when you've, you know, got your card all done and then suddenly the mechanism isn't working anymore because you got a seam in the way. And I also found that to be very true. 
All right, tear tape. Where did I, did you see the tear? Here it is. You're gonna need to use a very strong adhesive and I really recommend tear tape. It's one of my favorites. And I'm just gonna take a little piece of it. You do not want this to be falling over the edge. Here, let me see if you can see this better. I'm gonna put this right on the end of my piece that I just cut that seam off of. And then I'm going to bring in my pokey tool here. Whoops, you gotta make sure that the tear tape is sticking to the plastic. Well, not your hand like it just was to me. There we go. So we're gonna get that off of there. Just like this. Okay. And then you want this to meet in the middle of this little panel and that also is very important for everything to work properly. You don't want to pull this too tight, but you don't want it to be too loose. So just give it a nice little tug and make sure that it's matching up. See, I just matched it up to the tape. Now I'm going to cut this off, and we're actually going to make two of these today, I think. We'll see how this one goes. So I'm going to cut this other seam off that's right here so I don't forget to later, because the seams get in the way. Oh, something just happened on my computer. Oh, my computer just told me happy birthday tomorrow. How funny is that? I love you, computer. <laughs> All right, here's our mechanism. So this is cool, right? Now... We're gonna do a little bit of stamping here. Well, actually, this card has quite a bit of stamping on it, so let's get that done first. Uh, here's my piercing mat. I've got an inside layer. This is four by five and a quarter. And by the way, I'm hoping to have the blog post done for this when this um, video goes live. So you will be able to go over there and get all these dimensions. Um, Let's see what I'm doing here. There we go. I need this this little smiling, isn't he just like a little smiling walrus? I think he's so cute. I'm using black memento ink and I'm just going to stamp Wally right up there at the top. And then I'm coming in with the Knight of Navy ink and I'm going to stamp my happy birthday. Now remember this is from the perennial birthdays, one of my favorite greeting sets. There's just a lot of nice fonts in there and you get some images Beautiful cards can be made out of this. It's just a really fun um, stamp set. Okay, then we've also got a circle from the Stitched Shapes Circles. And I am going to stamp this little Wally. And then we've got some cute little fish in that stamp set. They're so adorable. They remind me of Dr. Seuss fish. Let's see if I can get the fish on the tail. Oh! I did it just perfect yay okay so we've got that and then with your three and a half this is three and a half by four so it's going to be taller you need this to be the tall way and stamp it and I am going to stamp it's your birthday and I'm using the knight of navy I'm gonna put that right down here at the bottom yay and then this little walrus that's like on his back with memento ink. And you need to keep this really close to the bottom. And I'll show you why in just a few minutes. And then up at the top, ooh, do I have my little strip? If I do. Um, ooh, this is too big. Hang on, you guys. I gotta cut something down here a little bit because I got a little confused on my dimension. Here we go. Okay, I've just got a little strip of designer series paper and that's going to go at the top of this piece. So we're gonna actually lay that down here, just do a dry fit for right now so I know where to stamp. And then I'm going to stamp the walrus that's in the water with the bird on his head. Oops, first we're gonna stamp ready or not. Sorry, got a little confused there. We're gonna stamp that really close to the top. Oh, whew. And now the little walrus, right up there too. Yay, aren't they just adorable? Now you wanna make sure when you're doing all this you stamp and color your envelope too, but I'm not gonna do that today because I have another one of these cards to show you. And I do not want to take up too much of your time 
and my time is a little pressed. So, all right. First thing we're going to do is we're going to start coloring these. And I've got my Stampin' Blends coming in here. So I've got the um, Mango Melody Dark. And we're going to just color the little bird's beak. And a little tiny pop of color on his tail, which I know you probably can't even see, but trust me, you can see it in real life. And then here comes our little goldfish, or Dr. Seuss fish, as I like to call it. It's so cute, isn't it? We'll put that away now. I have um, Smoky Slate Light and Dark, and then also Gray Granite Light. And I'm using Gray Granite for the walrus's little um, fat little cheeks. How about that? So while I'm coloring here, I'll just chit chat with you. Um, I hope you guys that are in the United States had a wonderful 4th of July. We actually went up north to a friend's cabin on a lake and we had such a nice time. I've got dark smoky slate here now and I just like to go through and add my um, shading lines on the lines that Stampin' Up! provides for us in the images. And then if you want, you can just add a little bit more shadow. That always looks nice. We're going to do that on all of these. But anyways, we were at this lake, this beautiful lake home. It's really not a lake home. It's like their house. You know how people say, oh yeah, we have a cottage. It's like, yeah, whatever. <laughs> So they have this beautiful home on this gorgeous little lake. We went on a pontoon ride. Um, what else? We ate, oh my gosh, they made prime rib for dinner yesterday on the 4th of July. Well, yesterday would have been the 4th of July. It was just amazing. Amazingly fun, good food. My stepdaughter, Anna, it's her friends, and they always come over swimming at our pool. All these kids do. Their parents live at this place. And so... They invited us up because they're like, you guys have our kids over all the time. We'd like to meet you. <laughs> so we went. And it was really neat. We had a great time. Okay. Nobody got hurt. Nobody blew their fingers off. We actually didn't do any fireworks, which is a little odd. But there were people doing fireworks across the lake. And that was fun to, you know, watch, obviously. But they had a tube and all the neighbors came over on their pontoon boats and just parked right out in front and get off and have some cocktails. There's a lot of cocktails that are, um, that's usually what people do in Wisconsin. Lots of cocktails. <laughs> that's what we're known for. Big, big cocktail state. Yeah, I didn't have any cocktails because I'm doing my plan and I know that's just totally empty calories that I do not want to burn because when I get ready to eat, I want to have food and continue to lose weight, right? So I don't have much more weight to lose. Um, I'm looking at about six pounds here. And I have to tell you guys, this is really funny. So I have this beautiful dress to wear for Haley's wedding on August 3rd and um, I tried it on the other day. I bought it like, I don't know, a couple months ago. I tried it on the other day and it's a little too big, of course. So I thought, I'm gonna go to the store where I bought it and see if they have just the next smaller size, right? Cause I'm like, oh, that'd be awesome. So I went there and they, and if you're looking for mother of the bride dresses, try Macy's because they have some beautiful gowns there. But anyways, um, they didn't have the next size down, but they did have two sizes down from the one that I have. So I tried that one on and it's a little snug, not, Haley's like, oh my gosh, that totally looks fantastic on you, but it's a little snug and I prefer to be comfortable. I do not like tight clothes as a rule. And if I'm gonna be in a dress, I'm probably gonna be in some horrible shoes all day. I wanna at least be comfortable in my dress, right? So I decided, well, if I lose a few more pounds, it might fit just perfect. So that's what I'm going for. And we'll see, because I'm figuring if I can take my dress back and just exchange it, I haven't worn it, the tags are still on it, we'll see what happens. Or I'm gonna have to alter my dress because it really is not fitting that well. <laughs> Which is great, right? It's a great problem to have. Okay, so now I'm gonna come in with the light seaside spray. This is a brand new color. 
Um, and this is one of our new in colors. So I'm just gonna come in here and give my little Wally a little bit of ground. And I thought, mm, water ground is good, right? Um, we're gonna just come in here. Just like that, don't overthink it. This all looks fantastic. For this one now, I'm gonna come in here and I'm gonna do a little bit more blue. And you'll see why in just a second. Okay, is that it? One, two, three. Oh, we got this little guy. Let's give him a little blue too. Perfect, okay. Now, here comes the test. <laughs> I have cut out a Knight of Navy scallop here. And, oops, I better get some more glue on there than that. There we go. I'm gonna add this right to the front. And people sometimes will ask me, well, what size is that um, circle from the stitch shapes? Well, this is the second largest one, but honestly, you're gonna use the size that best fits your image. So stamp your image first and then bring your framelits out and see which one fits best and then use the next one up for the scalloped edge, right? Okay. Um, we got that done. Now we're gonna bring this in. And here's where we need to pay a little bit of attention. I can leave that off. We're going to have this guy is gonna be popping out of the top. And did you see, here's my strip. And you don't have to do this, but I just thought this would be really cute to have a little strip of designer series paper up here. I'm just gonna put a little glue on there. And I'll show you this designer series paper too, because I think I didn't do that, did I? Pull this up, make sure it's even, looks great. Trim it off. Okay, don't forget, you guys can leave comments on YouTube too. I do go back and try to read all of them. Sometimes I don't have time to respond to all of them, but if you ask a question, I will go through and read them and answer those. So I just want you to know that. I'm gonna put just a little bit more glue over here because that's bugging me. And this is better be the light one. And it is. <laughs> just wanted a little bit more blue. Okay. Whew. Now, we are going to, this folds up like this and like this and like this. We need a little half a circle right here. So I've got a piece of designer series paper. This is five by, la, 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 la. hang on, three and three quarters. I thought it was three and three quarters. So I'm gonna glue this down, just like this. And this is gonna go on this front panel. So we've got this all going on. We're putting this on this side right here. And I've left kind of a quarter inch all the way around the outside. Okay. Whoops. I just smushed it. And then I've got a one and a half inch circle punch that I'm going to bring in here. And I'm just going to center and pop out a little divot just like that. Okay. Now, here comes our little walruses and this one is gonna you're gonna fold this flap down and you're going to line this up with the top now I'm gonna move it over here so I can see where I need to put my tear tape you want your tear tape to be on this plastic piece but down near the bottom and after you make a make up a prototype I'll show you my prototype in just a minute make up a prototype before you do this so that you get all the pieces, like you, they make sense to you, because that's what I do, is I will take some of my crummy cardstock, not my good Stampin' Up stuff, but my crummy stuff, and I will um, see how this all works before I use my good cardstock. Now, you're gonna take this piece and you're gonna center it between the score line and this edge that's folded over, okay? And it needs to match up with the top, and be centered is the best way to go about it. Okay. 
And now that is sticking to that piece of plastic in there. I hope you can see that. But like I said, once you make up a prototype, you're gonna understand this whole process. Then we're gonna take this one and we're going to match it up with the middle panel on the bottom. And again, I'm gonna take a small little piece of tear tape. I'm going to move this over here so I know where to put the tear tape. The tear tape is going to go right up here towards the top of this layer on the plastic. Push it down good. And now we're going to center this on this middle panel. Oops, make sure you have it in here straight. And then we're going to close this up. So now you've got this and this going on, which seems really silly, right? Well, it's not silly, so just know this is, this is the way it needs to be. Then we're going to take a little bit of our flax ribbon. Any ribbon will work just fine. I chose the flax because it's white and it matches my project. I have used this a lot. I really do like it. So we're going to take just a little bit of this. I'm folding it over here. And we're going to staple that onto this little piece right here. So just grab a stapler, staple that on there, ends up right in the center if you eyeball it, right? <laughs> that was kind of risky, wasn't it? Whew, sometimes, sometimes I fly by the seat of my pants. Okay, so next we're going to take... Um, I've got another piece here. So first we're gonna do, 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 get this all put together. Now I'm just gonna hold this closed here and we're gonna see how this works. Yep, look at that. Now you're gonna have to play with this a little bit to get it moving good. But once you play with it a little bit, it'll move. And for those of you that are gonna say, Kelly, how are my people that I send it to know that it's supposed to do this? You can take a little piece of, hang on, I'm looking for a little piece of a post-it note. You can take a little piece of a post-it note here and you can write pull, just like that. I'm gonna tear this off. And now this is the sticky part of the post-it note, right? And I'm just gonna add that right here. Okay, so that's how they're gonna know what they need to do. And ta-da! Pretty cool, huh? Play around with it. Once we get it all put together, it tends to move a little better, but you gotta get all the little quirks out. And I am also going to use a little bit of tear tape over here on this edge to oops, hold this little tab closed. I don't want this popping open, right? You don't want your card falling apart. Okay, here we go. All right, let's see again. Yay! Isn't it just the sweetest? Now, one thing I want to tell you about is when people, well, let's do the next part first. Here comes a card base. Now, you could be done right here. You could write on the back. You can write on these two tabs here, whatever you'd like to do. But what I decided to do, hang on, I got to turn my fan on. It is very warm and muggy here in Menasha, Wisconsin. And I have to tell you, I am not complaining because I love this weather. But I'm starting to glisten a little bit. <laughs> okay, so this piece that we made right here, I have another piece of the designer paper to go in here. So I'm just going to, this is a three quarter inch strip. I'm gonna leave a little bit of that white at the bottom. We're going to trim this off and put this on the inside of our card. Just like this. Isn't he just the cutest little thing ever? He just makes me happy. Okay, then we've got a little bit of decorating to do. Um. Oh, I think that piece that I just used was for something else, so hang on. I forgot about that piece, but I needed another piece. So we're going to go another one 
inch piece here. Here's a one inch piece of the designer paper. And I am going to take that and run it right across the front here. Let's do this. Oh, that fan feels really good. I just turned on my, I got a little fan that's connected to my tall floor lamp over there. Oh, it feels so good. Okay, so we're going to put this right on here. Kind of right in the middle. Well, that doesn't look very middle-y, does it? <laughs> okay, there we go. Trim this off. And then I'm going to grab some more of the flax ribbon. This kind of just carries through, right? We've got it as a tab, and now we're going to put it right here on the front of our card. And a little piece of tape. Make sure this is straight. We don't want it to look silly at this point, right? We've done all this work. Another one. Yay! And here comes Wally on the front. And I'm going to put a dimensional at the top and a dimensional at the bottom. I don't want to put dimensionals on here because that tends to make your ribbon move around. And that annoys me. He's so cute. And then this, and again, you could use tear tape to connect this to your card base. Goes right on the front of the card. Hold this in place for a second. So, here's our cool card that moves. And then, let me get this back in here. It opens up so it says ready or not it's your birthday and then happy birthday now one thing I want to make you aware of this is why I put the water much further than just the little wave images is because I wanted the water to come down so you couldn't see where it ended the other thing I want to make you aware of when somebody opens your card remember that stamp and blends or alcohol markers bleed through your images so what you may want to do here's my original that I made is you may like I took a piece of white cardstock and I cut it the same size about a little bit longer and I glued it on the back of here because when people open this up they see that whereas they don't really turn the card over and see this one so I wasn't too concerned with that one the other tip that I want to give you is when I first made this card, I put a strip of designer paper at the top and down here at the bottom, which I thought looked super, super cute, right? Well, guess what? This doesn't pull out far enough. It only pulls out, it only pulls out about this far. So this strip of paper made my image too high and then I had to take it apart and redo it. So here is our slider card. I just love it. All right, then I told you I would show you. This was my prototype. Okay, so this is a piece of crummy white cardstock. This was the shopping bag that once I actually made a real card I found didn't work well because it's too flimsy. It like stretched. But here is my prototype so that I knew what that what I was doing was going to work. <laughs> you know, I always make a sample so that I know what I'm doing is going to work. But it does work and it's pretty cool. See how that mechanism works? It, it's better when your card is closed. Um, it holds everything together, but that's how it works. It slides that plastic up and down. Okay, are you ready for another one? I'm super excited. This turned out, I was like, oh my gosh, am I going to be able to make this happen? But I did. I promised you, though, that I would show you this paper. This is called See a Silhouette, and it is just gorgeous. So of course you saw this, and this reminded me of the C, so that's why I chose it. Um, this is the back. Then we've got this, and this. This, and this. Aren't these pretty? They're watercolors. I love these look like the um, space, like the galaxy or the ocean. Look at that, isn't that gorgeous? All watercolor paper. Love these flowers. I've seen people cutting these flowers out and just using those as images on the fronts of their cards. How pretty, right? 
see a silhouette. So if you want to order any of this, these products that I've just shown you, you don't have a Stampin' Up! demonstrator, you can hop right on over to my blog. You're going to find um, an online ordering button in the right-hand column. Click on that, and that'll take you right to my store. Also, on this blog post, you are going to find a complete list. It's called a shopping list. If you scroll down a little bit, then you get to the blog post by clicking on the link that's in the See More under the YouTube video. If you scroll down, you'll see a shopping list. It'll show you all the products that I have used to make this card. So if you're like, mm, I can't remember what color ink she used, go down to that shopping list and you'll see that I used Night of Navy and Memento Black, right? Everything should be on there. So that just makes it easier for you and also helpful for me because if I want to do one of these cards for a class, I can go back to my shopping list and go, oh yeah, that was Night of Navy ink, right? So it's kind of benefits everybody. Okay, next, let me put some of this stuff away. I wish I could see your reaction to this card because I just love it. I think it's super adorable. Oh, let me show you this first. This was made by one of my team members, Lisa, and this was her Wheel Walrus Be Friends card. She used the high seas embossing folder and then a brayer, one of our foam brayers, to brayer over that. It left the little white edges on it. The, um, uh, what's that called? Uh, pretty label punch for the just floating by to say hi. And she also used some Wink of Stella on the ice down here, which I thought was just charming. Isn't that pretty? So there's two cards using the real walrus be friends. <laughs> Okay, I'm going to leave these sit out here while I change over to the next card. I love cards that move, and I think people in general do too. Um, I get a lot of kind of negative Nellies saying, I don't have anybody that would know how to open that. I'm sorry. I'm just sorry for you. Because I think you do have people that would be able to open it, and I think you need to give people a little more credit. And if you're sure that somebody that you would give it to wouldn't be able to open it, then only hand deliver it so you can show it to them. But I guarantee you, they will love it. Don't be a negative Nelly. Your glass is half full, not half empty. Just a better way to do things, right? Okay. And stampers, for the most part, are very cheerful and positive. Every once in a while, I get those that are like, nah, 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 nah. It's like, oh my lord. And sometimes you just have to say, hmm, I can't help you. Sorry. Because you choose who you surround yourself with, right? I surround myself with happy, nice people. Yay! And stampers are the nicest people ever. Okay. Where's my card? Oh, ha! Oh, no, I've got it. Okay. Hang on, I'm missing my card pieces. Right here. Next, I'll move these out of the way now. Next, we are going to be using Back on Your Feet, and we're going to make another one of these cards. The Back on Your Feet is just a super duper adorable stamp set. It's just as cute as the Wheel Walrus Be Friends, right? I've got a card base here that's Mossy Meadow, five and a half by eight and a half. I'm going to fold that in half and burnish that edge with my bone folder that I found right here. <laughs> okay, here we go. And then I have taken the, um, oh, what are these called? I can never remember. See, this is where I need you guys. These are some type of stitched shapes. I took the insert out of my envelope and now I need to put some labels on those so that I know what they're called. Because that's one I just can never remember. Hang on, I'm finding it. Finding it finding it. It goes with the Bird Ballad bundle. I know that. Stitched nested labels for Pete's sake. So I cut out the second largest one from this side over here. And I haven't actually made this card yet, so please cross your fingers <laughs> that everything goes okay. All right, this is going to be our inside Whisper White layer. And I've already run this through the leaves dynamic embossing folder. This is a 3D embossing folder. I've already run it through there. And I think, whoops, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put this down at the bottom like this. This is going to be our inside layer. 
Just wanted a little decoration on the inside. And again, I'm just leaving that little white strip there. Our card base is dark, and I like how that kind of makes the, the inside of the card pop a little bit. Oh, by the way, this is a three quarters by five and a quarter inch strip that I embossed in the leaves folder. And inside our card, it's gonna go. Now, if I wanted to, I could stamp a get well message on here from another stamp set. And maybe I'll do that later, but I'm not gonna do it right now because I don't know where that stamp set is. Well, I do know where it is. I just don't wanna dig it out. I'm being a little lazy. <laughs> I told you guys before I'm a lazy stamper, right? Okay, here's our two inside panels. These are both three and a half by four. I've got Mossy Meadow scrap and a vellum cardstock scrap. Here is our layer for the front of our card. And I've already, this is um, Pear Pizzazz. I almost called it Certainly Celery. I don't know why I get that stuck in my head sometimes. Pear Pizzazz. And this is three and three quarters by five. And then I've got that crumb cake layer that is 11 by five and a quarter. And we have scored it at, hang on, let me find my measurements. Two and a half, six and a half, and a little tiny bit more than 10 and a half. So I've already done that part. And again, this is a slider card. So I'm gonna come in here and cut my little panels out. What time is it? 9.30. Okay, I'm in good shape. I have to pack it, you guys. <laughs> it's actually 9.30 in the morning on Saturday, and I'm leaving at 11, and I have to shower and pack yet. I guess my bike ride isn't going to happen, is it? Turn it. I really wanted to do that, so it'll be okay. All right, so we've got this done, and now I'm going to bring in my strip. That's the other half of the strip from that bag that I cut. And we're going to put this in here. And I'm just going to trim this off so it just overlaps a little bit. And put some tear tape down here. I might not have time to show you guys my birthday cards. I might have to wait and do that um, when I get back. Which, by the way, the next time I'm going to be live is Monday... July 15th at 7 p.m. I decided I didn't have time to do another Facebook Live, not live. So I decided I would be able to tell you about my trip, show you all the fabulous things that I got on it. Oh, I love sharing all that stuff. Okay, and again, not too snug, but you need it to not be all saggy and loose either. And we're going to put that seam right in the middle of this panel. Okay, little stamping. What are we going to do here? I've got my sloth. And aren't they just the cutest little things ever? Sloths are adorable. Where did my ink pads go? Hang on, I put them away. My ink pad. That's my little sloth guy. Oh my gosh, is he not adorable? Can you guys see that? He is so cute. And then I have some of my blends out here. I'll throw this out of my way. I've got dark crumb cake. And I'm going to just come in here and give my sloth a little shading. And again, I'm just using the shade, whoops, the shade marks that Stampin' Up! has kind of put in here. See how there's a little bit darker over here and on his leg and on his belly? Yeah, I just use those. And maybe a little bit right here. Then I'm going to come in with the lighter crumb cake and blend these in so they don't look all blotchy. Somebody told me if you're making these markers squeak that you're pressing too hard. So just be aware of that. <laughs> I know I press too hard. <clears throat> don't need to press really hard with these, but it's just a habit that I have. Okay, and I'm going to do a little bit more here on this cute little leg. And then I'm going to bring out the big end.
There we go. Now, I decided to use my bronze to come in and do the tree trunk. It's just a little bit browner. It's a richer browner color. And I think his little eye mask is going to be that same bronze color. Yep, I like it. Then, hmm, let's see. Where is my granny apple green? Huh. I would use granny apple green for what I was about to do next, but I just do not even know. It's packed up in something. Well, hang on just a second. Let me see if I can find it. Oh, yep. It was packed up. I think I'll use this green. We'll see. This might be a huge mistake, but. There's his poor little leg and his little bandages. Isn't that cute? All right. Then here's our two inside. Oh, we have to do leaves yet. Hang on. Um, I'm going with Mossy Meadow. Just going to give these just a tiny bit of shading. And lighter mossy meadow. That was dark. This is light. There we go. What are you guys drinking tonight? I still have tea. I drink apple cinnamon tea in the mornings. I'm not a coffee drinker. Never like this stuff. I've tried really hard too, but not so much. Okay, so I think what I'm going to do here is do the sigh. Ah, oh, crumbs. Can I do it again? Nope, I can't. <laughs> Hang on. I got to get another piece here. I need a three and a half by four. Here we go. we go and then that says sigh like oh ouch and then our next one says hope you're back on your feet soon and this this greeting goes for the turtle and the sloth right because he's not on his feet either and this guy isn't either and here we go I'll put this down at the bottom okay that turned out pretty darn good and we're ready to start putting our card together. Where did my card, oh, here's my card base. Now, this is the one I want to pop out the top. So we're gonna take our tear tape and we're gonna line this up at the top to see where the bottom is and put our tear tape near the bottom, just like that. Um, I think about this. Yep, that's right. Right? Yep, that's right. Hang on. Dipper. <laughs> like I said, <clears throat> after you make a couple of these, it, it'll be a little easier for you to think about what you're doing and know that it's right. Here we go. I need to also punch that little less than half of a hole in the center here, okay? Don't forget to do that part because we need to be able to pull things up. So there's that one. This one is gonna slide out the bottom. So again, I'm gonna lay this up against my plastic strip, get it down here to the bottom of my card so I know where to put that other piece of tape that needs to go this out of here, fairly close to the top of this layer right here. I hope I'm not confusing you guys. I always try to make things a little easier because I know sometimes this stuff can be like, oh my lord, I'm never trying that. That looks terrible. But it really isn't. It's not really that, it's not really that hard at all. Okay, so now we've centered this in the middle panel. It's down at the bottom edge. We're going to close this up. And now we're gonna just kind of hold it together and make sure that it works. Oh, I'm getting a little resistance here. Hang on. What's happening? 
There we go. See, it doesn't want to move. I don't know why. I'm going to seal this because a lot of times it's because the card is open that it doesn't move right. Could be a mistake. <laughs> Don't let this hang over the edge there. Um, did you see my, po oh, here's my pokey toe. There, okay, let's see if we can get this to slide a little better. I think that my plastic is a little tight, you guys. That's why it's not wanting to slide. So, like I said, Play with it, and it will loosen up a little bit. Hang on a second. Oh, I see what's happening. I pulled it too far, okay? Don't pull it too far because then the seam where I put the two plastics together was going over the edge and that's why it wouldn't work. So we worked that all out. Yay. Okay, next we're going to take this layer, whoops, this layer that we embossed with that leaves embossing folder. Oh, you know what I did? I screwed up. Well, darn it. We're going to still go with it. I'm going to show you what I wanted to do. And this is because I didn't make a prototype. And that's how things get kind of messed up. I should always, always do that. So I don't have my circle cut out here, you guys. Right? So that kind of stinks. I should have put this on and then punched the circle, the half circle out. And I might still be able to. Oh, maybe I could fix it. Live and learn, Kelly. Look at that. Yay. <laughs> okay, but the other thing that I wanted to do is I wanted this card to be sideways. There we go. I wanted it to say, sigh, ouch, down here, going this way, and then hope you're back on your feet soon. But you guys can make yours any way you want. That's what I wanted to do with this one. All right, so let's keep going here. I'm just going to finish it up. See, I wanted my sloth to be sideways on here, but that's not the way it's going to go, and that's okay. we got to just roll with it. I'll do the next one that way. Okay, then we're going to do some dimensionals. I have one more little thing up my sleeve here for this sloth that's going to be super cute. All right, here we go. Center him from side to side. And then these scraps that we had, and I have the leaf punch. And I'm gonna put some leaves on here. I liked, I got the idea because there's leaves in the image. So I thought, oh, I can use the leaf punch. That'll match perfect, right? Let's see how many we need. And I just wanted to kind of take them and tuck them around in here. So I'm just going to put up oh gosh. Facebook Live, right? Woohoo! I really do do this on a Facebook Live thing because here's the problem. If you do a video that's an hour long, it may never upload to YouTube. They don't let, you know, they don't tend to like those really long videos. So I do a Facebook Live on a private page that I have that nobody else is in. And then I upload it to YouTube. It only takes about five minutes to upload it to YouTube. It takes uh, sometimes an hour to download it to your computer, but then only about five minutes to upload it to YouTube. So that's why I do this. This is really on Facebook. It's just in a group that nobody is a member of. <laughs> kind of crazy, right? But it's the way that it works good. Because Facebook and YouTube have a thing going on. I don't know. Make it just stick out a little. Oh, yeah, that's kind of cute, right? My dimensionals are getting in the way down in there. That'll work. 
That's kind of cute. Okay, I think I need one more. Maybe we'll just do one more over here. Yep, I think that's the ticket. Oh, isn't it cute? See if it'll work now. I pushed it in too far. There we go. Sigh, ouch. Hope you're back on your feet soon. Hey, you know what else? I think that I could probably... Hang on, I need some more mossy meadow. Here we go. Let's do this and this. I'm going to put one right in here. That'll be super cute. That's not going to get in the way of any of your moving parts. Yay! And then I think I'm going to trim this off just a little bit. That'll be perfect. Don't forget about, you know, you can always modify these punches to what you need. If you saw my tip video on Wednesday, you saw how I modified a bunch of things. Cute! I love it! Okay, you guys, so we have this one and we have this one. It is almost 10 a.m. and I do believe that I need to get myself packed and showered. Yeah, I do because showering takes me like almost an hour. So, there we go. I am going to save this huge stack of cards. Look at them. And there'll be more by the time I get home. Holy cow, right? I'm going to save all of these for when I get back. The one thing that I did want to show you is where's the card? Um, I don't even see it now. I brought it in here. Well... Steve surprised me for our anniversary. I can't find the card either. Me. Oh, here it is. Um, oh, that was my birthday card. I'll save that for next week. Steve surprised me um, for our anniversary, which is July 4th. We got married in Vegas 27 years ago. Know what happens when two great people get together? A great marriage. And look, that bird moves. See? It's getting together. Isn't that cute? He surprised me and he bought me a new wedding ring. Because my wedding ring broke and isn't this just beautiful? It's so sparkly. I absolutely love it. So yeah, that was pretty exciting. And it was a total surprise. Like I had no idea it was happening. Oh, and I gotta put the card on here. Yeah, maybe I'm a little preoccupied today, right? I gotta go pack and shower and all that good stuff. Let me get this on here. This is gonna be such a fun get well card to send to somebody who's really gonna need it if they have like broken parts, right? Look at that, super, super cute. Okay, so that was exciting. I was very proud of him. He did a really good job. And here's our two moving cards for today tonight I should say. I hope you guys have a wonderful week. Please don't forget I appreciate all your orders. You'll find an online ordering button on the right hand column of my blog. This is the July host code. Please use that when your order is under $150. If it's over $150 don't use that code. You'll get some Stampin' Rewards um, from Stampin' Up that you can use on your own. You will still get special perks from me of course. Thanks, you guys, for joining me for my Facebook Live, not live, on July 7th, 2019. Have yourselves a wonderful week. I will be sharing pictures from Greece as I can. But most of all, I'm going to be relaxing, enjoying, and having lots of fun in the sun. Thank you so much to all of you because without you, I would not be going on this trip. So, really appreciate it. Have yourselves a great week. I will be back on Monday night, 7 p.m. Central Time, July 15th, where I will share all the goodies we're going to get. We get pillow gifts every night. 
Um, I have a swap that I'm in. So I'll be sharing a lot of stuff on the 15th. That is a Monday night instead of Sunday. So you guys have yourselves a wonderful week. Bye-bye.